Hello, in this video we will walk through how to add Auth0 authentication to your application so you could easily authenticate your users using email and password or social media logins such as Google, Twitter or GitHub. To get started, head over to Auth0 and create a free account. If you already have an account, you can simply log in to the dashboard. To create a new application, go to Applications tab and click on the Create Application button. For Next.js, select regular web application and give your application a name. Once you have created your application, navigate to the Settings tab and configure the allowed callback URL and logout URL. For the callback URL, set it to http localhost 3000 slash api slash auth slash callback. For the logout URL, use localhost 3000. Be sure to save your changes. Now let's jump into the code. First, install the Next.js Auth0 SDK by running npm install Auth0 Next.js Auth0. Next, add the following environment variables to your .env file. Auth0 secret is a long secret value used to encrypt the session cookie. You can generate a suitable string using OpenSSL command or just for now give it a random string. Auth base URL is localhost 3000. You can copy the issuer base URL, client ID and client secret values from your Auth0 dashboard settings. Create an Auth directory under the pages API directory and in there create a catch-all dynamic route with file name Auth0 with the brackets and three dots in the front. Then import handle Auth method from the SDK and export the result of calling it. This creates four API routes for login, logout, callback and fetching the user profile. To store the user ID in your database after a successful login, you can use the after callback function. Then you need to add an user handlers object with an async callback function, in which we can call handle callback function from this decay, with our after callback function as a parameter. To manage the authentication state of your users, the SDK uses React context. To make this available to all of your pages, wrap the entire application app.tsx with the user provided component imported from the SDK. For now, I want that only authorized users could use Finance Dashboard application. To do that, we can open our layout component, which wraps every single page in our application, and we can import with page auth required higher order component and wrap our entire application with it. Now, if the user visits our application without a valid session, it will redirect the user to the login page. Also, I want to mention that this SDK provides a way to secure the API endpoints, but more on that in the next video. Let's jump to the header component. To get the currently logged in user state, we can use use user hook from the SDK. With that, we can display his picture in our navbar. Also, let's add a logout link. To perform a logout, your link href should point to slash api slash auth slash logout. That's basically it. Now let's run our dev server and open the app. Since we are not logged in yet, we instantly get redirected to the sign up sign in page. Now I can sign up or sign in. We can see my profile picture and of course we can log out. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will be looking into database tables and creating CRUD API endpoints. I will link that video somewhere.